So something a lot of people complain about is like a bloating or indigestion or gas or wind immediately following uh, eating certain food groups. Um, and what this can often be related to is like a, a small, small intestinal um, uh, like overgrowth of the nasty bacteria or what is sometimes uh, phrased SIBO, um, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Now, this can, you know, symptoms would include, you know, as soon as you eat something, it, it's almost like someone's got a bicycle pump and they and you get this like excessive sort of swelling in the gut, which is not proportional to the volume of food you've eaten. Obviously, if you absolutely stuff your face with two, three plates of food, you're going to get the swelling from just from the volume that you've ingested. But this is like above and beyond. It might even be a relatively small meal which causes this sort of kind of inflation of, of, the, of the bowel there. Now if, if you have experienced symptoms like that then you can get yourself tested, you can get a stool test or you can even do like a hydrogen breath test which will, sh which will show how the bacteria are actually processing um, the sugars that you might have ingested at the time of the meal. But there's a whole group of foods which can make that condition much much worse um, they're, they're known collectively as FODMAPs. We'll, we'll put a little list up and a link that you can download a, a list of FODMAP foods. And it, that's not a list of unhealthy foods. It can be things like you know avocado, um, but, but it's basically foods which can um, ferment and intensify this, this, this kind of uh, effect and also supply food for the nasty bacteria down there. And so they can kind of thrive off those, those foods. So following a low FODMAP food diet is one way to you know, limit the amount of foods that the nasty bacteria are getting. And there's also a number of other you know, therapies, both conventional and, 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 and less conventional that you, um, or alternative that you can follow in terms of you know, spices, herbs, antibiotics through, through your medical practitioner and, and so on, which you know, it can help to varying degrees or not. Uh, in, in alleviating your symptoms.